Bangalore is situated in the southeast of the South Indian state of Karnataka. It is positioned at 12.97 degrees north 77.56 degrees east and covers an area of 2,190 square kilometres 850 square miles. A landlocked city, Bangalore is located in the heart of the Mysore Plateau, a region of the larger Deccan Plateau, at an average elevation of 920 meters, 3020 feet. Bangalore district borders with Kolar and Chikabalapur in the northeast, Tumkur in the northwest, Mandya and Ramanagaram in the southeast and Mysore. Topic: Geography Bangalore lies in the southeast of the South Indian state of Karnataka. It is in the heart of the Mysore Plateau, a region of the larger Precambrian Deccan Plateau, at an average elevation of 920 meters (3,020 feet). It is positioned at 12.97 degrees north, 77.56 degrees east, 12.97, 77.56, and covers an area of 1,741 square kilometers (673 square miles). The majority of the city of Bangalore lies in the Bangalore Urban District of Karnataka and the surrounding rural areas are a part of the Bangalore Rural District. The region comprising the Bangalore Urban and Rural Districts is known as the Bangalore Region. The government of Karnataka has carved out the new district of Ramanagara from the old Bangalore Rural District. In the 16th century, Kemp Gowda I constructed many lakes to meet the town's water requirements. The Kempambudi Kir, since overrun by modern development, was prominent among those lakes. In the earlier half of 20th century, the Nandi Hills Waterworks was commissioned by Sir Mirza Ismail, Dewan of Mysore, 1926-41 CE, to provide water supply to the city. Currently, the river Kaveri provides around 80% of the total water supply to the city with the remaining 20% being obtained from the Thipagandanahalli and Hisaragata. Reservoirs of the Arkavathi River Bangalore receives 800 million litres 211 million US gallons of water a day, more than any other Indian city. However, Bangalore sometimes does face water shortages, especially during the summer season, more so in the years of low rainfall. A random sampling study of the Air Quality Index AQI of 20 stations within the city indicated scores that ranged from 76 to 314, suggesting heavy to severe air pollution around areas of traffic concentration. Bangalore has a handful of freshwater lakes and water tanks, the largest of which are Madavala Tank, Hebel Lake, Ulsor Lake and Sankey Tank. Groundwater occurs in silty to sandy layers of the alluvial sediments. The Peninsular Nysic Complex PGC, is the most dominant rock unit in the area and includes granites, gneisses and migmatites, while the soils of Bangalore consist of red laterite and red, fine loamy to clayey soils. Vegetation in the city is primarily in the form of large deciduous canopy and minority coconut trees. Though Bangalore has been classified as a part of the Seismic Zone 3, it has experienced quakes of magnitude as high as 6.4. Topography Bangalore has two unique topography terrains, North Bangalore Talik and the South Bangalore Talik. The North Bangalore Talik is a relatively more level plateau and lies between an average of 839 to 962 meters above sea level. The middle of the Talik has a prominent ridge running NNESSW. The highest point in the city, Dadabadahali, 962 meters, is on this ridge. There are gentle slopes and valleys on either side of this ridge. The low-lying area is marked by a series of water tanks varying in size from a small pond to those of considerable extent, but all fairly shallow. The topography of Bangalore is undulating with a central ridge running NNESSW. 
The highest point is Dadabaitahali, which is 962 meters (3156 feet) and lies on this ridge. No major rivers run through the city, though the Arkavathi and Dakshin Pinakini River cross paths at the Nandi Hills, 60 kilometers (37 miles) to the north. River Vrishabhavathi, a minor tributary of the Arkavathi, arises within the city at Basavanagudi and flows through the city. The rivers Arkavathi and Vrishabhavathi together carry much of Bangalore's sewage. A sewerage system, constructed in 1922, covers 215 square kilometers 133 square miles of the city and connects with five sewage treatment centers located in the periphery of Bangalore. Outflow from Belander Lake and Varthar Lake valleys go to Panayar River that flows towards Hosur. The South Bangalore Talik has an uneven landscape with intermingling hills and valleys. The southern and western portions of the city consist of a topology of granite and gneissic masses. The eastern portion is a plain, with rare minor undulations. There are no major rivers flowing through the city. However, rivers Arkavathi and Kaveri merge within the proximity of Mekadatu, which lies 60 kilometers south of Bangalore. River Vrishabhavati, a tributary of Arkavathi, flows for a small stretch in the Bangalore North Talik and carries a bulk of the city's sewerage. The city has a handful of freshwater lakes and water tanks such as Madhavala Tank, Hebel Tank, Ulsor Lake and Sankey Tank. Groundwater occurs in silty to sandy layers of alluvial sediments and jointed quartzite. The rock types prevalent in the district belong to the Sagar, Charnakite and Peninsular Nysic Complex PGC groups. The PGC is the dominant group of rocks and covers two-thirds of the area and includes granites, gneissis and migmatites. The soils in Bangalore vary from red laterite to clayey soils. Topic. Climate Due to its elevation, Bangalore enjoys a pleasant and equable climate throughout the year. However, due to deforestation, it is getting higher in recent times. The new record is around 40 degrees Celsius, date equals December 2008, winter temperatures rarely drop below 14 degrees Celsius, 52 degrees Fahrenheit, and summer temperatures seldom exceed 36 degrees Celsius, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Bangalore receives about 970 mm of rain annually, with the wettest months being August, September, and October. The heaviest rainfall recorded in a 24-hour period was 159.7 mm recorded on 1 October 1997. Most of the rainfall occurs during late afternoon, evening or night and rain before noon is infrequent. November 2015 290.4 mm was recorded as one of the wettest months in Bangalore with heavy rains causing severe flooding in some areas, and closure of a number of organizations for over a couple of days. Topic. Seismicity Because it lies in the seismically stable region, Zone 3 encompassing parts of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, Bangalore has been untouched by major seismic events. Only mild tremors have been recorded in the city. Topic. Land use According to data contained in the Bangalore Mahanagara Palike Master Plan, 40.4% of the land in the city is used for residential purposes. Transport uses 24.3% of the land, while land used for industrial, and commercial purposes comprise 6.9% and 2.7% respectively. As the city of Bangalore expands, the BMP expects the percentage of land used for industrial purposes to decrease, while it expects the percentages of land used for residential, commercial and public and semi-public purposes to increase. Topic. 
General Metropolitan Environment A random sampling study of the Air Quality Index AQI of 20 stations within the city indicated scores that ranged from 76 to 314, suggesting heavy to severe air pollution around areas of traffic concentration. Major pollutants contributing to Bangalore's high AQI score include nitrogen oxide, suspended particulate matter SPM, and carbon monoxide. The Bangalore metropolitan area, referred to as the Garden City of India has an abundance of fauna and flora, but now this is gone due to deforestation. The city has two nationally renowned botanical gardens. Cubbon Park and Lal Bagh. A majority of the trees in the city are big to medium canopy trees with girths above 40 cm. Coconut trees form a large minority of the tree population in the city. In 2003, the Battelle Environmental Evaluation System Bees, index used to evaluate environmental components was used to rate Bangalore's physical, biological and socio-economic parameters. The results are summarized in Table 1. Topic. See also Geography of India